On the 19th of August 1944, several German tanks from mixed units, including the Vimoutiers Tiger I, were making their way to get refueled at the army fuel dump set up in the Château de l'Horloge, France. They had to make a detour along the Vimoutier gas road. They were trying to escape the encirclement of the Falaise pocket. A number of the panzers ran out of fuel on that road before they got to the chateau and had to be abandoned. These included a Panzer III, a number of Panzer IVs, three Tiger I tanks, and a King Tiger. It is believed that around 60 German tanks were abandoned around the rolling hills and rich dairy farmland that surrounds Vimoutiers during the last days of August 1944. Most were cut up after the war by scrap metal merchants. The Vimoutier Tiger ran out of fuel. Tiger tanks are very thirsty beasts and going up and down all the limestone hills did not help its fuel consumption. It ground to a halt in the middle of the road. It was too heavy to push off or tow to the roadside using a smaller tank. The crew placed the demolition charges they had been given on the engine cover and along the turret. The explosives caused the armored covers on top of the engine to buckle. The turret was jammed by the second explosion. When the Americans liberated the town of Vitmoutier, the disabled Tiger tank was deemed to be causing a traffic obstruction. A U.S. Army bulldozer was used to push it off the road to enable the essential supply lorries to reach the ever-moving front. For over 30 years, it was left to rust and get covered in moss. Local children would play on this once deadly weapon of war. It became a local landmark. French scrap metal merchant M. Murat purchased the Tiger tank. He took out the transmission but left it sitting on the northern side of the road in a ditch, with its gun pointing menacingly up the road at passing vehicles. Mr. Morat's sister inherited the Tiger tank when he died. She did not want it and sold it to a scrap metal merchant in Caen. It was too heavy to be towed away, and the company arrived on site with oxyacetylene metal cutting tools, with the intention of cutting it up piece by piece and transporting it away to a smelter in Caen. A local resident saw what was happening to the town's historic landmark and was horrified. He contacted the mayor of Vimoutier, and with the help of a French Normandy D-Day historian, Eddie Florentin, an emergency purchase of the tank on behalf of the town of Vimoutier was authorized by the Paris War Office. In October 1975, the work of restoring the Tiger tank began with its removal from its ditch. This was not an easy job as it was so heavy. The turret was removed to lighten the load. It then took two very large, powerful JCB tractor units to pull it out of its resting place for the past 30 years. It was initially just placed in a graveled area by the side of the road near where it was found. Today it takes pride of place in a lawned lay-by with tarmacked parking spaces on a raised plinth. 